Hey everybody, it's me, Uncle Greg, a.k.a. The Free American Spirit. In today's video, we got some sun out there, so we're going to test some stuff, because if you remember, I could only run that light bulb because it was so cloudy and rainy. So we're going to test some stuff out, and then we're also going to run these wires out through the shed to the solar panel. And we'll use this little gizmo, which I'll talk about later. But those are the little waterproof lug nuts that uh, I was telling you about that I'd really need for these. So I gotta buy some of those. But anyways, let's hear from the sponsor and we'll get to it. That's right everybody, I have no sponsors. It's just good people like you that like the button, subscribe to the videos and the channel, you know, and you go ahead and you leave some comments. And if you really, really love me, share the video and use that Amazon link to buy anything you want because it helps you and helps me put out videos like this. All right, the first thing we're going to do is turn off the power. So I've turned it off here. Oops, glad I didn't have my toes in the way. I turned it off here, but these wires are still alive, so I've got to go outside and disconnect the positive. Make sure you do that. Then we'll take this box off. We'll run outside, and the tools we're going to need for this, we're going to need this stepper bit. We're going to need some self-drilling holes. We're going to need this part, which I said, well, I don't even know what it's called, but I'll have a link or in the description for you. So this will go against the wall. The stepper bit is going to drill about a half inch hole or however big these are. And what these are, they came from that grow lot over there when I put those connectors in. So I have the extra. So the stepper bit will cut a hole big enough for that those two wires to go through, right? Because you can see they went through there and fit just perfect. So I'll make sure I cut the stepper bit through the side of the building I'll put this in and that way those PV wires over there won't get scratched up on the side of the of the building so let me go out turn off the electric uh, you'll need a screwdriver drill whatever let me turn off the electric and when I get it going out there I'll show you the details Held my hole with my stepper bit this thing should fit right in there might have to clean it just a hair there you go that's nice. That'll keep the wire from getting cut on this little metal. Now let me go get some screws and we'll put on the doohiggy, which will be in the description. Okay, the first step in installing this, whatchamacallit, is to take these two doohiggy thingies, unscrew them in those washers, and put the doohiggy thing on each wire followed by the washer, and pull those wires all the way through. So let me get that done, and we'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've run my wires in. I've got this half inch PVC going all the way back. Now, if you remember, I used one of those clamps back there instead of using one of the clamps like this. But that's because this wouldn't fit inside that gizmo. These are three quarter class to hold the PVC. That's all I had. I should have got a half inch. So this wiggles a little bit, but I'm going to squeeze it together with some pliers, weight on that end, and then follow it up so that this line is relatively taut. I've left myself plenty of plenty of wire to put that switch in when it comes. So let's go outside and finish that end up. Okay, guys, so here we're back. My wife, Richeline, has been hooking up all the electric for me. I just get to stand by and watch. Maybe I'll take her out for a sandwich for doing all the hard work. So the wires are coming here and the one side right here from the positive, remember it was there, I cut off that end and this up here will come back down here. So positive side, the negative was already hooked up. So I just cut off that end and then that was the two bare ends going into the, into the shed. So my cutoff switch is pretty squared up. The only thing I didn't do is put the gizmos on the top. Remember those gizmo things, which I have a link in the description you can tell me about. So I will have to come by, unscrew these, put the gizmo in there. Maybe put one there because I don't know if two wires will fit in one gizmo. But I have plenty of extra wire. So I'm sure yours will look way better. Then i got to go down here to the workbench and get the lid. <clears throat> and once again, those little things in there will fit just about right. There you go. And look at there. This time Uncle Greg actually put it up the way it's supposed to go. 
<laughs> that not a miracle so we'll tighten that lid up then I'll plug this in and this is off so those wires now going from here if I have to work on anything from here into there I can shut them off as well as I'll have a different switch when it comes in there so hey guys I hope you enjoyed this video leave a comment tell my wife Richelina hello master electrician Disclaimer, neither of us are electricians or solar people. <laughs> so when you're messing with wires, make sure everything is off. Ask your own electrician and your own solar guy. Right, Rick? Right, right. Because you don't want to be fried. That bell icon, because we're going to be doing wiring videos and stuff in there, comes out next. You'll want to see all those. So uh, thanks a lot. And use that Amazon link for anything you want, because it helps you out, costs you nothing, and helps us out. Later, Gator.